Welcome back to What She Said. After touring the world for more than three decades and releasing 28 albums, Canada's first lady of the guitar, Leona Boyd, is back with a new album and a new autobiography, both titled No Remedy for Love. Welcome to What She Said. Thank you so much, Christine. Now, the book is described as a fascinating personal story of adventure, romance, and recovery. So tell us a little bit about that. Oh, recovered from a whole lot of things, I guess. From all Re- the romances. Like yeah. <laughs> well, I did get divorced in this book. You you know the reasons why, but I am on very good terms with my ex-husband, which is great, and his new wife. But I had something that happened to my, actually not my hands at all. There's nothing wrong with these hands. Never was. But when you practice too much, you get something called musician's focal dystonia. So I actually quit for six years and I go into all that. What happened, it was very devastating to me. But then I reinvented myself as a singer-songwriter. So I look back now and think it's the very best thing that ever happened. I've been so productive. I've had five albums produced uh, of all my own original music since I came back. And then, of course, last year I had recovery from breaking my shoulder and my knee. I have a Mm -hmm. house in Palm Beach, and I'd never broken a bone in my life, but there was a piece of cardboard left in my garage uh, by me (laughs) (laughs) after we'd been cutting coconuts. And I live alone, and bam, you know, down I went, shattering my bones, was completely helpless, and I had to scream for 15 minutes till the Palm Beach fire department rescued me and uh, and goodness and, and somebody heard you blaring sirens taking me over to the trauma unit in West Palm Beach and then I had to wait because there were no hospital beds in Toronto but anyway four days later I was flown in a Learjet yeah, nice. <laughs> I hadn't been a Learjet since the days of Gordon Lightfoot and here I was on morphine on a stretcher I thought wow this is a movie I didn't really <laughs> envision but I recovered and I was in rehab at Bridgepoint and here I am and it never affected my guitar playing in fact in the hospital Hospital, I finished writing one of the songs that's on the new album. It's a tribute to Gordon Lightfoot and Ronnie Hawkins is a special guest. And that was such a treat to record with him. Wow. And Gordon loves the song. We just did a festival together not long ago. And he's very, very touched that I would write this song for him. And it uses a lot of his famous lines intertwined with some of mine. And I wanted to do a tribute because he, you know, he kind of put me on the map in the 70s way back then. That's good. Well, the new album takes us through your love for the planet, animals, love, and yes. and the place you now call home. You're here, you're Toronto, back, Toronto. And Ontario. Yes, many types of love. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. awesome. So, and a fun fact for people that don't know, you've been the pen pal of uh, Prince Philip for over thirty years, and you performed yes. for him most recently in Windsor Castle. Just, yes, well, that was this year. Like, this year. Yes, so. he is an amazing man. I mean, he just loves my music has been so supportive all these years. I have so many letters, I can't even count them. And he's my best pen pal because he writes back immediately. (laughs) How did that friendship uh, start? uh, I guess when, well, you know, I dated Pietro for eight years. So he invited me to give a little performance for the Queen and Prince Philip. And I played for the Queen a few times, but this last time it was just for Prince Philip. And um, we just started... uh, Not about to say emailing. No, we never email. Just started writing... And I found out he writes, oh, he types all his letters, or used to write them, and now he types them all himself. I figured he had a page or somebody, you know, taking dictation. Mm -hmm. And uh, he shared a lot of his life, and I got permission from him. Uh, When I went over there to play in Windsor Castle, Mm -hmm. I wrote a song, which I dedicated him, called Love of the Horse, because he and the Queen have been involved in all kinds of equestrian Mm -hmm. events, as you know, over Mm -hmm. the years. And uh, he jokingly said to me in one of the letters, and some of my best friends are horses. <laughs> He's so witty. Yeah, and, you know. uh, so, and he probably will have more time to write now that he has officially retired. Yes. He's, he, the last letter he wrote to me just recently said he was, it was a curious feeling knowing that all these things he was going to was sort of the last time. It was kind of the end of a chapter. Mm-hmm. But back to you. You've uh-huh. also just re-released your best-selling 1998 autobiography, In My Own Key, My yes. Life in Love and Music, which covers your career and your eight-year romance with Pierre Trudeau. So what's In that? paperback this time. Okay, so two books out Cheap. and a new album. What's next for you? Oh, who knows? I never planned my life out. Uh, <laughs> I've got a little book tour. I'm playing... I've got some Christmas concerts getting booked here in mm-hmm. Toronto on the 25th of November. Um, I have a wonderful new duo partner. He's 26 years old. He's 
gorgeous. He's a model too. Six four and Trust sings you. like the tenor. <laughs> oh no, the story of how I, I met him through my mother and through Ronnie Hawkins. It's very, very strange how this whole thing happened. <laughs> uh, and he is a fantastic classical guitarist. He has a degree in classical guitar and in voice. I mean, who would have known? He lives in Waterloo. Wow. And his parents are big fans. They come to every concert. <laughs> we did a whole tour last year, and we're looking forward to many more. Where can people get more details about the new book and album, and if they haven't yet read your first book? Well, I guess they're available on Amazon, on Indigo, through my website, which is leonaboyd.com. Um, yeah, the first book is full of so much adventure, all my adventures around the world, and you know, crazy things I did, like playing for OJ and... I mean, OJ Jury and and concert halls catching fire. and <laughs> uh, But I mean, I, there's still quite a bit of drama. I moved seven times on my own in the new book. Yeah. <laughs> and my Latin lovers and living in Miami and then moving to Connecticut. <laughs> and I'm, I'm looking forward to the read. <laughs> Leona, thanks so much for joining us again. You Thank have to come you. back and spend a bit more time. And I hope you love the album because I'm so proud of it. <laughs> I'm sure I, I will. And that is it for What She Said Tonight. Do join us again tomorrow night at 10 p.m. And in the meantime, don't forget to check us out on whatshesaidtalk.com. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh,